Welcome back to the Reload Bench. A few months ago, I was contacted via email by a representative from a company called Paca Apparel. They specialize in clothing made out of alpaca wool. I'd never heard of this company before, and I've never worn anything with that's made out of alpaca wool. I only got into the merino wool sock thing just a few years ago. She had seen my sock durability test video, which I'll include a link to at the end of this video, and was wondering if I'd like to try out some of their alpaca wool socks. Now, I get contacted by companies from time to time asking me to try out their products. What usually ends up happening is I ask them questions about their products, things that I think are relevant to convey to the audience, and they refuse to answer those questions, or they just cut off contact with me. A few of them have even insisted that I do a positive review on their product, and I will not guarantee that to anybody. Now, my friends joke around about me being a shill, and it's kind of funny, and I'm not saying that I don't have a price, but uh, there's probably not a company out there willing to pay that price. If, if you want to know what it is, contact me. It's in the About section on my channel. If you're a company and you want to know what it's going to take for me to shill, I'll send you, I'll send you my demands, but regardless... I've turned down a lot of products to review because they either were things I was uninterested in, the lack of support from the company, or just uh, just the, the demands that they were making. This company didn't make any demands, and I told her what I would like to have shipped to me in order to try out, in order to help me make the video. I also asked a few technical questions. Now, a few days later, an envelope shows up, and it's been sitting in my house for months. And there was no email response saying, hey, we're shipping out that stuff you asked for, or here's the answer to your questions or whatever. So I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it. And then I decided, you know, I think what I'll do is I'll do a comparison with other socks, both alpaca wool and merino wool, and do another durability test video. But I was just kind of busy with other things and just didn't get around to it. Weeks went by, and then I got an email response where she answered the questions that I had, and that kind of inspired me to, to continue on with this. But I wanted to give a fair evaluation to the audience, so I thought it would be a good idea to make a purchase from Packa Apparel myself just to convey that experience versus the experience of having something sent to me deliberately for free, as well as have something to compare it to. So this video will be part one in a series where I evaluate these socks for durability, comfort, and customer support, as well as compare them to other socks. So I'll start with the unboxing of the socks that I got for free. Now, I originally asked for a pair of light gray and dark gray ankle socks in small that would fit my wife, just to show the audience what ankle socks what their ankle socks look like, and just to have a, a, a color comparison between light gray and dark gray. Inside this cardboard bag they sent me is a three-pack of small ankle socks in dark gray, which is very dark, light gray, which is very light, and white, which is almost a beige, kind of an off-white color. So they went above and beyond for this. And it really just gives me an opportunity to, to show somebody who would order ankle socks what to expect if they if they got one of these three packs. I don't wear ankle socks. Also, I might include something at the end of this video series about my wife's experience wearing these socks. I'm not sure yet. The other thing I asked for were a pair of large crew socks in Andean moss. Andean for the Andes Mountains in Peru because this alpaca wool comes from Peru. So th these are the large crew socks in Andean moss. I'll just pull off this cardboard sleeve and you can see the alpaca logo here, the, the paca apparel with the uh, al alpaca. Uh, what is it? What is an alpaca? Is it a sheep? I don't know. Okay, with an alpaca in a circle here at the, the top of the, the sock, there's a cardboard insert in the middle, and uh, it's got one of these QR codes, which I'm an old guy, I don't use that crap, so I don't know what to do with that. But this is a nice kind of a, an olive 
green color, kind of a little bit light, a little bit gray maybe mixed in with it. There's a padded bottom and toe to this. It says Paca right above the, the line here where the toe and padded bottom is, is sewn on, or this is a reinforced stitching here. Yeah, that's just a reinforced stitching right there. So these feel really kind of thin and lightweight. Might be because they're breathable. I'm not sure. But I'll be trying these out. Now, in order to do a fair evaluation, at least in my opinion, I thought I would go ahead and order these without telling them that I was ordering these. They, they don't have me in their system. I, I used a different email address. And this is months later, so they have no idea. So let me convey my experience with this smaller cardboard bag with two pairs of socks in it. So I ordered this on a Monday afternoon. It arrived on a Saturday morning. And there are two pairs of crew socks in here. Shipping was $9. Now, these socks are made in Peru with per Peruvian alpaca wool, Peruvian labor. But their distribution center is in Missouri. So that's right in the middle of the country. So... You could probably expect about a week for shipping, no matter where you live in the continental United States. They didn't tell me that, but I mean, from Missouri to Michigan in a week, that's not too bad at all. So let me go ahead and open this up. I'll just use some scissors and see if I can slide it in underneath the, the flap. And inside are two pair of crew socks and a couple decals. Well, that's kind of nice. So this one is their, their logo. It's got this uh, kind of digitized alpaca in the center uh, in white in the center of a black circle. The other decal is of an alpaca. It says Paca underneath. And it's cut out in, in the form of the animal. It's kind of got a, a cloud type pattern to it. So I'm guessing that's to kind of emphasize that the wool is kind of fluffy. So here is their large crew sock in dark gray. You see it's got the, I'll just pull it out of the cardboard sleeve here. It's got their logo here at the top. It's got a padded bottom, reinforced toe. Their logo in light gray or their, uh, their company name, Paca in light gray over the toe, as well as light gray, their logo here on the top of both socks. And their light gray has their logo in dark gray at the top and the company name above the toe in dark gray. So now I've got three pairs of their crew socks to try out and evaluate, as well as just give you an idea of some of the colors that they offer. So the light gray and dark gray large crew socks were $20 each. And like I said, shipping was $9. I got it in a week. These socks, none of their socks, have a lifetime warranty. They have a return exchange period. I think that's really just maybe if there was a defect when you first got it or if you got the wrong ones or, or maybe if they were the wrong size or something like that, they screwed up the order. But other than that, these don't have a warranty. So when they wear out, I'm throwing them out. So I really want to find out if these are worth $20 a pair. Now for the socks I'm going to compare them to. Since Paca Apparel is made in Peru, I decided to look for an American alpaca wool source. And I simply just typed in American alpaca wool socks. And I got this company, American Made Alpaca. So I thought I'd place an order from them. And it was uh, the same experience, more or less, as with Paca Apparel. I ordered these on a Monday afternoon and got them Saturday morning. Shipping was $4.95. I just ordered one pair of crew socks. So let's get this box open. It just came in a uh, white cardboard box. The seam is taped. I'll just pull back the flap. And uh, it's wrapped up in... And kind of like tissue paper with a thank you sticker on here. There's uh looks like kind of 
some greeting cards or something in here. It says, um, Lilymore Farm in Pleasant Valley, New York. So I'm guessing this is where they get their, their wool from. So you're supporting American industry. The other card is a greeting card with a picture of an alpaca on it. This thing is ugly as sin. It's got a giraffe neck and buck teeth. I mean, I'm sure they're cute and cuddly up front, but <laughs> uh, it's like a sheep and a giraffe had a baby. I don't know. On the back, uh, it's a handwritten thank you, and it says, enjoy the socks. I didn't tell them I'm doing a YouTube video. They have no idea I'm doing any of this. So there's a couple little stickers here with uh, alpaca sheep. Let's get the uh, socks out of the box here. Let me get this tissue paper out of the way. Now, I ordered these in variation green, and these are their extra large socks. So there's a paper sleeve around them. It says XL on there. Alpaca crew socks. And uh, care instructions. Machine wash and dry. Use warm water and tumble low. Do not iron or dry clean. All right, so for the purposes of this experiment, I'm washing the socks with my work clothes, my regular clothes. They're going to be on cold wash with Tide laundry detergent. Could be any kind of Tide. We, we use different kinds. And I'll be adding Lysol um, laundry sanitizer, maybe on occasion some Downy or Members Mark fabric softener, but that's it. And then I'll be drying them on high heat with the other clothes. I'm not folding the socks inside out. I'm not... If, if the socks won't hold up to regular wash with the clothes, I, I don't want to go out of my way, then they're, they're failing the test as far as I'm concerned. I, I don't want any sort of extra work or special care. I didn't do that for the first durability test, and I'm not doing it for this one. So let me take the sleeve off. Now, these socks are thick. These things are really thick. They're light green, uh, about two-thirds of the way up, and kind of a darker green, like a forest emerald green on the bottom. They are really thick. So I'm wondering if these things are going to be hot. Uh, if they are, I might uh, discontinue them for the summer and then put them on in the fall. But if they're breathable, hopefully they're they're comfortable. These things look like they would be really good for sitting in a deer blind. So I'm, I'm really interested to try these out. Now these socks cost $28. And like I said, shipping was $4.95. And I got them in a week. So that's not too bad. And unfortunately, these don't have a lifetime warranty. So when they wear out, they wear out. They do have a return and exchange period. It's it's short and they've got a lot of terms and whatnot. So when I wear these things out, that's just it. They go in the trash. So really, I'm trying to figure out if they're really worth $28. And how does the American-made alpaca wool compare to the Peruvian-made alpaca wool socks? So those are... Two different brands of alpaca wool socks. But I'm not done yet. I'm going to do a comparison with some non-alpaca wool socks. Here I have a box from Midway USA. They sell socks, believe it or not. I'm going to go ahead and open up the box here. And right here at the top of the box, in a clear plastic bag with a, with a piece of red tape at the top to, to hold it shut, and that's really cheap packaging, are their socks. So these are the Midway USA All Season Merino Wool Blend Crew Boot Socks. Two pairs in carbon gray. These are large, which is a man's 9 to 13. I paid... $19.99 for these. I ordered them on a Monday afternoon and they arrived on a Thursday afternoon. They're supposed to be made in the USA. So let me just rip open this bag. Let's take a look. So they are they're attached with a little plastic, little plastic uh, thing. I don't know what these are called. So they're 
dark gray over most of the sock, light gray on the reinforced heel, light gray on the reinforced toe. They've got a black stripe at the top with light gray underneath with some elastic there. And they say Midway USA on one side. These are supposed to be American made. There isn't any sort of warranty on these. And they're merino wool, not alpaca wool. But I thought I would take one pair of these and put them in the rotation and just see how long they last. The other pair I'll just put off to the side for later. Also, while I was there, and since I was paying shipping, yeah, I didn't wait for free shipping this time, I decided to uh, pick up some 30 caliber bullets from Spear. Always good stuff from Spear. And I got some 300 blackout from my kids' stocking for Christmas. Shh, don't tell them. Everybody gets ammo every year for Christmas. So I was able to get socks from Midway USA and pick up a few other things. To continue with Merino wool for this evaluation, from Darn Tough, I've got their boot midweight tactical sock with cushion in foliage green. These were $29 and I got free shipping because I ordered some other socks for another evaluation video I'm doing. So there was enough to be over the $50 threshold for free shipping. Paca Apparel does offer free shipping for over $150 and some of their stuff is really pricey so it would be very easy to to get their free shipping as well if I had bought some other clothing or something like that but for the purposes of the video I want to try to compare my shipping costs or shipping experiences and why so these were $29 and they're made with 62% merino wool these are berry amendment compliant so these are good for military use Unlike the other socks, Darn Tough socks have a lifetime warranty. So when I wear these out, I simply just go to their website, log into the warranty page. They'll make a, a warranty label for me to print. And then I mail them at my expense back to Vermont with that paperwork. And then they send me an email giving me a credit for the value of these socks in addition to free shipping. But the main difference really isn't the fact that this is merino wool versus alpaca wool. It's the fact that not only are these American made, but they've got the lifetime warranty. So I really want to see how well the $29 socks hold up against the alpaca comparisons that don't have the lifetime warranty, unfortunately. And last, just to screw things up a little bit, I've got these. These are a pair of Browning socks that I got for free for attending Thunder on the Prairie 2023. They were included in my swag pack. Now, these are large, which is a man's 9 to 13, so these will fit me. They're made in China, unfortunately. And these are 75% polyester, 10% nylon, 10% spandex, and 5% elastic content. So these aren't even wool. They, they aren't even going to compare, but I thought I'd just throw them into the mix just to see how well they held up. So I know that's been a long video, but Paca Apparel, I'm going to make you work for this. You don't make your socks in America, and you don't have a lifetime warranty, but let's see how well you compare to other socks, both alpaca wool and not alpaca wool. I'm not endorsing any one company over the other except for Darn Tough just because of the positive experience I've had with them. I would absolutely recommend spending the money for these. Not only are they American made and they're quality, they're comfortable, they do the job, but they honor their warranty. However, I'm really interested to see how well the rest of these socks compare. So I'll make one or two additional videos probably and try to write down every time that I wash these socks. And if there's anything that happens maybe on the day that they wear out or maybe some things that I've been doing above and beyond just wearing these with my steel-toed work boots at work or maybe on occasion while I'm out maybe hiking or doing something else. For the most part, it's going to be the same conditions as the previous durability test. I'm not doing anything special for washing or drying these socks. I'm not giving them any extra care. I'm just simply 
using these socks the way a blue collar guy would or somebody who is active in outdoor sports or activities like hunting or hiking or things like that. So stay tuned for follow-up videos. And just like before, uh, I'm, I'll just uh, do my best to keep some notes and, and try to be as transparent with the audience as possible, as honest with the audience as possible. None of these companies are paying me to do this. None of these companies are, are demanding that I, I do a positive review. This is simply going to be my experience. Thanks for watching.